Hi, my name is Tuesday Coco and I'm a writer. A typical day for me is honestly filled with quite a bit of procrastination and time wasting. Um, but one thing that really does help me get focused is having some music on in the background. I love um, instrumentals and soundtracks and movie scores and Nicholas Patel is one of my favourite composers. Uh, if Your Street Could Talk is one of my favourite soundtracks. Also, I really like um, Succession soundtrack as well. And um, I write a lot about London. So listening to Coco Roco, who are a London-based jazz collective, um, really inspires me as well. The music to me sounds like the summers I spent on balconies um, in blocks of flats in the States in East London. So, but yeah, that feels like home. And I do a lot of character work. I like to think that character, that my characters are the centre and the heart of my work. I try and write in a way that I think honors them. And one way that helps me do that confidently is to make sure that I know them the best in the world. So I do a lot of character plays. I'd like to find out their secrets, their most private moments and private thoughts so that I do know them the best and can, can honor them. And what I love most about writing, I think is reflecting back what I think are the best parts of humans. So joy, love, resilience, and perseverance. I like to think that if we remind ourselves of the best of ourselves, then we hold ourselves accountable to, to that standard. Hi, my name is Pete Doctor. I'm a director here at Pixar Animation Studios. I directed Monsters, Inc., Up, Inside Out, and Soul. And really my job as a director is not to make the film myself, but to tell other people what they need to know so that they can make the film. We have an amazing group of talented people here who do everything from animation, design, lighting, and really what they need to understand so that they can do their job is how their piece fits into the whole. I don't come in and tell them, make it look red with sharp pointy edges or whatever. What they need to know is, what is it supposed to feel like, right? Because that's really the job of the artist, right? Is to translate feelings into visuals so that that feeling can be passed on to someone else. A typical day for me is not there is no such thing. There's no such thing as a typical day. Every day is different. It's largely running around talking to groups of artists, looking at work that they've done uh, and letting them know how it fits into the story. What I love most about uh, directing here is making stuff. I just love the fact that as animators, we start with absolutely nothing. None of what you see on the screen actually exists. It's all made up, it's all fake, and yet if we do it right, we can get our audience to laugh, to maybe cry, to really believe in what they're seeing. And to me, that's like the greatest magic trick in the world. Hi, working as a producer in film covers uh, many different aspects of filmmaking. You're involved right at the beginning with the script. You're also involved with the casting, uh, crucially with all the logistics. So finding your heads of department um, and also working out where you're going to shoot. So looking at the locations with the director. It's a pretty um, full on job. Uh, <laughs> you work right the way through from the first phase of development through to delivering the film. And you also work on the marketing and promotion of the film. Um, a typical day can be anything from standing on set uh, with the director, looking at the way the shots are being uh, structured, whether the performances are right, whether um, all the locations are looking good, the design is correct, uh, or it could be sitting in your office working on the scripts with a writer or possibly in a post-production house looking at a, a cut of the um, finished film. The thing I love most about being a producer is that you are working right from the very start of a project, often from the ideas stage, through to the final delivery of the film and how it gets marketed and promoted to an audience. So you're involved every step of the way and I find that fascinating. Hi, I'm Joel. Um, I am a production designer and an executive producer. I've been designing for 26 years. I'd say the majority of my day is taken up uh, in meetings, uh, dealing with concept artists, doing some of it myself occasionally if I can, um, dealing with um, the art department all the way from uh, art directors down to draftsmen and to prop makers, uh, set decoration team, as well as the writing team and the VFX. So it's it's quite a spread job. 
and it's a, a big responsibility in the sense of the money and the delivery of the look of a show. I'm also, uh, as, a, as an executive producer, I have a kind of duty of care to the show, which is an exciting role for me and a new role. I've been uh, doing that for a few years. They are two very different jobs, but uh, luckily I utterly love the film industry. I utterly love my job and I can't say uh, or express enough of how exciting it is to be in this industry. My name is Edie Ichioka, and I'm an editor mostly working in feature animation. My job is to work with directors and producers to translate the written script to the screen while honing the material and plussing it. Animation is an extremely labor-intensive process, so part of my job is to audition ideas before it's time to animate so that the animator's efforts aren't wasted. Every department's work passes through editorial, we get drawings called storyboards to cut with temporary dialogue in order to create a blueprint of what the film will be. Once the leadership approves the material, we record our actors and edit their voices with previs and layout, which are rough computer renderings of the characters and environments. During this step, we work out camera placement, lensing, and movement before we send this material to the animator who brings the characters to life. Then it goes to lighting which ignites the realism or stylized nature of the scene. Every stage of animation feature editing progresses like a multi-course meal, so there's no typical day. In the beginning stages of a film, it's storyboard intensive. As we progress to animation, the composer tailors the music to emotion and images, along with the sound effects and mixing team. Storytelling powerfully touches people's lives. When people tell me that a film that I participated in making like Nightmare Before Christmas, Toy Story 2, or Over the Moon had some importance to them. It's very meaningful and humbling. Hello, my name is Michael McAdam, and I'm the managing director and owner of Movie House Cinemas in Northern Ireland. We're a small company. We have four locations, ranging from three screens right through to 14 screens in Belfast city centre. Mondays and Tuesdays are my busiest days of the week because that's when I confirm film bookings and set the film times for the week ahead. The setting of show times is so important to make sure that our, our foyers are never packed with people, particularly during these COVID times. The rest of the week can consist of visiting my four locations, where possible previewing forthcoming titles, and meeting with architects and builders because we're always on the lookout for new opportunities and we always seem to be upgrading. What I love about this business is at the weekends in particular when we see families, young couples and all going to the cinema looking for an exciting night out and to know that the reason they're going is because my business has put that opportunity there. It's a great industry to be in and I'm very lucky to be involved with it.